Bradley was born five weeks early in Ottawa Hospital. Uh, he was born with a condition called unicuspid aortic stenosis. And they took him in for a cardiac cath at 11 days old. And he ended up get, going into heart failure. They took him into the CCCU and told us that he was in heart failure. He wound up being transferred to Sick Kids Hospital, at which time they told us he might not make it to his first birthday. Um, many, many tests later, they determined that his ejection fraction or the quality of how his heart pumps was getting worse and that they would have to do a heart transplant. On February 29th, 2012, he was listed for the transplant. And on March 5th, he received a heart transplant. And he's been very lucky ever since to not have many more health issues after that. Riley cannot be vaccinated with live vaccinations. So he cannot receive the MMR or measles, mumps, rubella vaccination, and he can't receive the varicella vaccination because we are intentionally medicating him to suppress his immune system. And if he were to receive one of these vaccinations, it could really adversely affect him. So at this time, he can't be vaccinated with live vaccines at all. When Riley gets sick with an infectious disease or flu, anything like that, Riley is sick for much longer than the average person or the typical person would be. Uh, if you or I got the flu, we might be sick for 24, 48 hours, whereas Riley might be down for one to two weeks. He might even require hospitalization, uh, IV fluids, things like that. And because of that, he doesn't recuperate as quickly as we do. If Riley were to get the chicken pox, let's say, he would have to be admitted to hospital and put on um, an, an IV medication called IVIG, and he would have to stay there for two or three days, frequent blood work. It's not just as simple as going to the doctor and getting an antibiotic when it comes to Riley. He gets very, very, very ill. Our family can't travel like normal families. Um, visits to the emergency department are a little bit different because we don't know who out there is carrying what. Um, we trust that most parents and guardians vaccinate their children because that's what we feel you would do as a responsible parent. Um, but we know that most parent, a lot of parents don't at this time vaccinate their kids. So as it is, we don't know. When we wind up going to the hospital or to the airport or to the mall, we don't know what the little person walking beside us or in front of us is carrying. So it's very difficult for us to do anything outside of the house. When you vaccinate your children, if everybody worked as a community to vaccinate their children and get their boosters and update their own vaccination schedules, there's something that's sort of like an umbrella that protects kids like Riley or even adults like Riley who have a compromised immune system. And when people stop vaccinating for whatever their reasons might be, um, you wind up, that umbrella is not as strong. So you're not as protected Riley relies on community immunity in order to stay healthy because the more people around him that are vaccinated, the better it is for Riley or others like Riley. Um, but the more people that stop, the smaller that umbrella is and the less protection these people have.